Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott, and this is the Miracle Money Activation. I've created several activations on my channel, and this is designed to activate a new reality, one in which you experience miraculous money on a regular basis. One of the most wonderful things about life is receiving money miraculously. It is a sign of the divine. In a world often dominated by practicality and logic, the concept of miracles may seem out of place, yet if we take a moment to reflect on our lives, we might find that miracles are not as rare as we think. They occur in the everyday moments that leave us in awe, in the unexpected turns of events that change our lives for the better, and in the seemingly impossible becoming possible. These miracles are not limited to grand, earth-shattering events. They can be as simple as a timely phone call, a chance encounter, or a sudden spark of inspiration. This activation is designed so that you can listen to my words. And as you listen, you will activate money miracles in your life. I am both teaching and activating with each word. Each word is designed to open up a reality within you to change your belief system it is my deepest desire for you to receive money miraculously and this is the best way for me to enable that for you when you open your eyes to the possibility of miracles you begin to see them everywhere even in the realm of finance and money the relationship between miracles and money is a fascinating one often overlooked in our pragmatic approach to financial matters. Most of us tend to view money through the lens of hard work, strategic planning, and careful budgeting. While these are undoubtedly important, they don't account for the element of the miraculous that can transform your financial life in ways you never imagined. Consider the entrepreneur who receives a life-changing investment at the brink of bankruptcy, or the individual who stumbles upon a rare coin worth a fortune. Think about the times when an unexpected refund arrives when you need it at most, or when a brilliant money-making idea struck out of the blue. These are not mere coincidences. They are the whispers of financial miracles in your life. I remember one month I was worried about getting kicked out of my house. I needed to make a $4,000 payment, and I had nothing. I simply had no money to pay for my rent. I manifested this possibility and tried to stay in the highest vibe possible. This is hard because there's a sort of cognitive dissonance that happens. But then I received money through six different transactions. And on the day that I had to pay, on the final day that I had to pay, I had $4,001 to pay my rent. That is a miracle that the exact amount was needed and I received the final portion of my payment at the very last minute. That was a miracle to me. The purpose of this episode is to explore this intricate dance between the miraculous and the monetary. I will delve into the nature of miracles, examining how they manifest in your life. My aim is to shift your perspective, encouraging you to see the potential for miracles in your everyday financial experiences and decisions. This is not just an episode of feel-good stories or vague spiritual concepts. This is a practical guide to create the conditions for financial miracles in your life. I want to challenge the conventional wisdom that you have about wealth and success and introduce you to a new paradigm where the miraculous and the mundane coexist in the realm of finance. Whether you're struggling with debt, seeking to grow your wealth, or simply looking to develop a healthier relationship with money, I will offer a unique perspective that can transform your financial life. This is an invitation to open yourself to the possibility of miracles, to cultivate wonder and gratitude in your financial journey, and to co-create a life of abundance beyond your wildest dreams. This is a new way of perceiving the world, one where miracles are not just possible, but an integral part of your financial reality. To begin to understand 
miraculous money, we must first grapple with the concept of miracles themselves. The word miracle often evokes images of grand supernatural events. The seas parting, the blind suddenly seeing or loaves and fishes multiplying to feed the multitudes. While these traditional perspectives on miracles still hold sway in many cultures and beliefs, our modern world has expanded and in some ways redefined what we consider miraculous. In traditional contexts, miracles were often seen as direct interventions by divine or supernatural forces, events that defied the laws of nature and can only be explained through faith. Many still hold this view, finding comfort and inspiration in the idea of a higher power actively shaping our world through miraculous acts. However, as our understanding of the natural world has grown, so too has our conception of what constitutes a miracle. Modern perspectives on miracles often focus less on their supernatural origins and more on their profound impact and seeming improbability. A medical recovery deemed impossible by doctors, a narrow escape from disaster, or even a string of fortunate coincidences leading to a life-changing opportunity. These events, while potentially explainable through natural means, can feel no less miraculous to those experiencing them. This evolution in our understanding of miracles has led to an interesting tension between scientific and spiritual interpretations. Science, with its emphasis on empirical evidence, and repeatable results often seeks to explain seemingly miraculous events through natural mechanisms, probability, or as yet undiscovered principles. This approach doesn't necessarily negate the concept of miracles, but rather reframes them as rare or poorly understood natural phenomena. Spiritual interpretations, on the other hand, maintain the significance of faith, intention, and unseen forces in miraculous occurrences. Many spiritual traditions teach that miracles are a result of aligning oneself with universal energies, divine will, or the power of consciousness itself. In this view, miracles are not violations of natural law, but expressions of higher laws that we are only beginning to understand. Regardless of one's personal beliefs, the nature of miracles shares common threads across various interpretations. At their core, miracles are unexpected occurrences that seem to defy odds or conventional explanations. They often appear to bend the rules of what we consider possible, arriving as surprises that challenge our assumptions about how the world works. Another key aspect of miracles is the personal significance and impact. What might seem like a mundane coincidence to one person could be a life-altering miracle to another. As we consider the types of miracles, we can broadly categorize them into three areas, though these often overlap. First, there are those perceived as divine interventions, events attributed to the direct action of a deity or spiritual force. These might include healings, visions, or dramatic turns of fortune that align with one's prayers or spiritual practices. Second, we have synchronicities, meaningful coincidences that seem too perfectly timed or relevant to be mere chance. Last, we have what might be called extraordinary human achievements, feats of skill, endurance, creativity, or insight that push the boundaries of what we believe possible. These miracles remind us of the incredible potential within each of us. In the realm of finance, we might think of entrepreneurs who build empires from humble beginnings or individuals who overcome tremendous odds to achieve financial freedom. Understanding miracles in this broader context allows us to open our minds to the miraculous potential in our everyday lives, especially in our financial affairs. By recognizing that miracles need not be supernatural to be profound, we can cultivate a mindset that's receptive to the extraordinary possibilities that exist in the world of money and beyond. Remember, the goal isn't to sit back and wait for miracles to happen, but to actively participate in co-creating them by broadening our definition of what's miraculous and remaining open to the extraordinary. We set the stage for a remarkable transformation in our financial lives and beyond. Money at its core is simply a tool, a medium of exchange that facilitates transactions and stores value. Yet for most of us, money is so much more than that. It's a subject fraught with emotion, deeply intertwined with our sense of self-worth, security, and success. To truly understand how we can invite financial miracles into our lives, we must first grapple with the complex psychology of money. Our relationship with money begins to form long before we ever earn our first paycheck or open a bank account, 
From a young age, we absorb messages about money from our families, communities, and the broader culture. These messages shape our beliefs about wealth, scarcity, and our own financial potential. In some cultures, money is viewed as a source of evil, with wealth being associated with greed or moral corruption. This belief can lead to subconscious self-sabotage, where individuals unknowingly push away miraculous financial opportunities out of a deep-seated fear of becoming bad people. On the other hand, cultures that view wealth as a sign of divine favor or personal virtue may foster a more positive, abundance-oriented mindset. You can actually draw a direct line from the way a culture looks at money to the sort of abundance that people in that culture experience. Personal beliefs about money are often even more influential than cultural norms. These are shaped by individual experiences and observations. A child who grows up in a household where money is constantly a source of stress and conflict may develop a belief that money is inherently problematic. These cultural and personal beliefs form the foundation of our emotional relationship with finances. Money is rarely just about numbers on bank statements. It's intertwined with our feelings of security, freedom, power, and self-worth. For many, the mere thought of checking their bank balance can trigger anxiety, while others might feel a surge of excitement or pride. Fear often plays a significant role in our financial lives. Fear of loss can lead to overly conservative financial decisions, potentially missing out on growth opportunities. Fear of not having enough can drive compulsive saving or hoarding behaviors, preventing individuals from fully enjoying the fruits of their labor. On the flip side, fear of missing out can lead to impulsive spending or risky investments. Shame is another powerful emotion in the realm of finance. Many people feel ashamed of their debts, their spending habits, or what they perceive as financial failures. This shame can be paralyzing, preventing individuals from seeking help or taking positive steps to improve their financial situation. It's crucial to recognize that financial mistakes or setbacks don't define a person's worth or potential. Joy and excitement also play a role in our financial psychology. The thrill of a successful investment, the satisfaction of reaching a savings goal, or the pleasure of a well-considered purchase can all contribute to a positive emotional relationship with money. Cultivating these positive associations can be a powerful tool in manifesting financial abundance. The power of mindset in financial matters cannot be overstated. Our thoughts and beliefs about money have a profound impact on our financial behaviors and outcomes. A scarcity mindset characterized by the belief that there's never enough to go around can lead to stress, poor decision-making, and a self-fulfilling prophecy of lack. In contrast, an abundance mindset, the belief that there are ample opportunities and resources available, can open our eyes to possibilities we might otherwise miss. This is where the concept of miraculous money begins to intersect with psychology. By cultivating an abundance mindset, open to miracles, we become more receptive to financial opportunities and more likely to take the actions necessary to capitalize on them. We start to view setbacks as temporary. We become more willing to take calculated risks. Moreover, our mindset influences how we interpret and respond to financial events in our lives. What one person might dismiss as mere coincidence, another with a mindset open to possibility of financial miracles might recognize as a significant opportunity or a sign to take action. So the beginning thing to learn is that miraculous money is not just about external events or lucky breaks. It's about transforming your internal landscape, your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions about money. And I am activating this possibility within you. You will begin the process after listening to this episode of transforming that internal landscape to become more aligned with abundance and open to the extraordinary possibilities that exist. By understanding and consciously shaping your financial psychology, you lay the groundwork for inviting miracles into your life. Throughout human history, the intersection of the miraculous and the monetary has been a source of fascination, hope, and sometimes controversy. From ancient tales of alchemists turning lead into gold to modern stories of unexpected windfalls, the idea that money can appear or multiply in miraculous ways has captured our collective imagination. History is replete with accounts of financial miracles. In ancient religious texts, we find stories like the widow's oil in the Bible, where a poor widow's meager supply of oil miraculously multiplied 
allowing her to pay off her debts and live on what remained. Moving into more recent history, we encounter numerous accounts of individuals and organizations experiencing what can only be described as miracles. Consider the story of George Miller, a 19th century Christian evangelist who ran orphanages in England. Miller was known for his unwavering faith that God would provide for the needs of the orphans. Time and again, when funds were low and food was scarce, unexpected donations or supplies would arrive just in time, often in ways that seemed impossible to explain through mere coincidence. Another historical example is the founding of the Bank of Italy, which later became the Bank of America. A.P. Giannini, the bank's founder, saw an opportunity in the aftermath of the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. While their banks were paralyzed, Giannini set up a makeshift bank on a wharf and began making loans to help rebuild the city. His faith in the community and willingness to lend when others wouldn't not only helped revitalize San Francisco, but laid the foundations for what would become one of the largest banks in the world. These examples demonstrate that financial miracles are not confined to ancient myths or religious texts. They have occurred throughout history, often at the intersection of human need, unwavering faith, and unexpected opportunity. In the modern era, we continue to hear remarkable testimonials of financial miracles. These stories come from people of all walks of life and often share common themes of unexpected provision. Take the case of Cynthia, a single mother struggling to make ends meet. Just as she was facing eviction from her apartment, she received a call about an inheritance from a distant relative she had never met. The inheritance was enough to not only secure her housing, but also to start a small business that eventually thrived. Cynthia attributes this turn of events to her persistent prayers and unwavering belief that a solution would present itself. Another modern example is the story of James, an entrepreneur whose company was on the brink of bankruptcy. One sleepless night, he had a vivid dream about a new product idea. Acting on this inspiration, he develops a prototype which caught the attention of a major investor at a chance meeting. This unexpected encounter led to a substantial investment that not only saved his company, but propelled it to unforeseen success. These testimonials, like their historical counterparts, highlight the potential for extraordinary financial turnarounds and unexpected miracles. They serve as powerful reminders that miraculous money experiences are not relics of the past, but continue to occur in our contemporary world. Central to both historical examples and the modern testimonials is the role of faith, hope, and expectation. These internal states seem to play a crucial part in inviting and recognizing financial miracles. Faith in this context doesn't necessarily refer to religious belief, although it can. Rather, it encompasses a deep-seated conviction that positive miracles are possible, even in the face of challenging circumstances. This faith often provides the courage to take risks, seize opportunities, and persist through difficulties, all of which can create the conditions for miraculous financial events. Hope is equally important. It keeps us open to possibilities and helps us maintain a positive outlook, even when immediate circumstances seem bleak. Expectation or anticipation seems to attune our minds to recognize opportunities when they arise. It's as if our expectations shape our perception, allowing us to see potential where others might only see obstacles. Together, faith, hope, and expectation create a mindset that is primed for miraculous money experiences. So you must create a miraculous money mindset. At the heart of a miracle-ready mindset is a deep sense of gratitude. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you when something good happened. It's a fundamental orientation towards life that acknowledges and appreciates the abundance that already exists in your life. When you cultivate gratitude, you train your mind to focus on what you have rather than what you lack. And this shift raises your vibration so dramatically it will invite miraculous money into your life. So start by taking time each day, even a minute, to acknowledge the financial blessings you already have, the financial miracles that have already occurred, no matter how small they might have seemed. Perhaps you're grateful for the ability to pay your bills, for the meal on the table, or for the opportunities to earn money through your work. As you consistently practice this, in my own life I've noticed a shift in the overall outlook. I find myself becoming more aware of the abundance that surrounds me, which in turn opens my eyes to new opportunities for growth and miracles. Miraculous thinking goes hand in hand with gratitude. It's the belief that there is more than enough to go around, more than enough money, opportunities, and resources for everyone. It's the idea that we are abundant, and abundance is a natural way of life. 
to cultivate this abundance miracle thinking, start by challenging the notion that money is a limited resource that must be hoarded or competed for. View money as a flowing energy that circulates through the economy just as you exhale to make room for fresh air in your lungs. Consider how spending or giving money mindfully can create a space for new financial inflows in your life. Common limiting beliefs like money is the root of all evil or I'll never be good enough for money or rich people are greedy. Whether you're consciously aware of them or not, shape your behaviors and decisions around money. To create a truly miracle-ready mindset, you must identify and overcome these limiting beliefs. Now, I may sound like I'm repeating myself as I have with previous activations, but these ideas are fundamental and important. Just as I was taught when I learned how to play basketball, learn the fundamentals first. So I learned how to dribble, how to shoot. All of those things were important. You must learn the fundamentals. Understanding that gratitude is important is a fundamental. Understanding that your beliefs are important is a fundamental. And understanding the limiting beliefs that are limiting you from the miracles in your life is one of those fundamentals. Become aware of your thoughts and self-talk around money. When you catch yourself thinking or saying something negative about money, pause and challenge that thought. When you catch yourself saying that miracles are not real, that miracles are impossible, challenge that thought. Slowly over time, you overcome these limiting beliefs. The purpose of everything I've talked about up to this point has simply been to set the table for the activation of miraculous money in your life. Each word I have used has brought up elements, ideas, feelings that surround money. These fundamental ideas are important. What I want to do is reach deep into your subconscious and flip the switch to activate a new timeline into your life in which miracles happen on a continuous and consistent basis. So to begin, I want you to affirm to yourself Miracles happen in my life on a continuous and consistent basis. Just say those words to yourself. Allow those words to write themselves into your reality. As you listen to my voice, know that you are initiating a powerful shift in your reality. You are activating a new timeline. A timeline where financial miracles occur regularly and abundantly in your life. Take a deep breath. Allowing yourself to become present in this moment. Feel the air filling your lungs, nourishing every cell in your body. This air is readily available to you just as money is. And every time you breathe, you are acknowledging the abundance in your life and you will remember that money is all around you. Whenever you breathe, it's miraculous. You are experiencing a miracle every time you breathe. And every time you breathe, you remember that a miracle is happening. It is not difficult to understand that money coming to you is just as likely as you breathing. So allow yourself to become present in this moment. Breathing in, and as you exhale, release any tension, concerns, resistance, or worries that you may be holding about money or finances. Imagine a glowing golden thread extending from your heart, reaching out into a vast field of potential that surrounds you. This thread is your connection to the infinite abundance of the universe. Feel it pulsing with energy, alive with possibility. As you continue to breathe miraculously and naturally, allow your awareness to expand. I want you to see multiple timelines stretching out before you, each one representing a different potential future. Among these timelines, there is one that shimmers with a particularly bright golden light. This is your miraculous money timeline. I want you to spend a few moments tuning in to this timeline.
direct your attention towards this golden timeline. And as you focus on it, feel it beginning to activate within your field of experience. This timeline is filled with unexpected financial blessings, surprising opportunities, and a continuous flow of abundance. In this timeline, money comes to you in miraculous ways. Unexpected checks arrive in the mail. Unexpected deposits end up in your bank account. New lucrative opportunities present themselves seemingly out of nowhere. Your investments yield returns beyond your wildest expectations. The work you love becomes increasingly profitable. Feel the resonance of this timeline in your body. Notice how it feels to live in a reality where financial miracles are the norm. Allow yourself to fully embrace this feeling knowing that as you do, you're aligning more closely with this miraculous potential. Spend a few moments integrating and locking into this miraculous timeline, feeling it from the first person. In this activated timeline, you approach each day with a sense of excitement and anticipation. You know that financial blessings can and do occur at any moment. This expectation opens your eyes to opportunities you might have missed before. It inspires you to take inspired action, following your intuition and inner guidance. See yourself moving through your day in this activated timeline. See yourself handling money with joy and ease. Imagine paying bills with a sense of gratitude, knowing that as you circulate money, you're participating in the flow of abundance. See yourself generously sharing your resources, knowing that as you give, you open yourself to receive even more, miraculously. Remember, you don't need to force this or make it happen through sheer will. Simply by listening to these words and allowing yourself to resonate with them, you are shifting your vibration and activating this new potential. And as you go about your day, carry with you the knowing that you are now living in your miraculous money timeline. Expect miracles. Welcome synchronicities. Embrace unexpected blessings. Know that the universe is conspiring in your favor, bringing you financial miracles in surprising and delightful ways. You are worthy of abundance. You are deserving of financial blessings. You are a magnet for miraculous money experiences. This is your new reality. Take a deep breath. 
fully integrating this activation into every aspect of your being and as you exhale, release any final doubts or hesitations. You are now fully activated and aligned with your miraculous money timeline. Carry this activation with you throughout your day. Return to it whenever you need a reminder of the miraculous financial opportunities that surround you. Trust in the process. Stay open to the unexpected and watch as financial miracles unfold in your life. This activation is complete, but its effects will continue to ripple throughout your reality, creating ongoing shifts and openings for miraculous money experiences. Welcome to your new financially miraculous life. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com and welcome to The Reality Revolution.